Welcome to my new apartment. I'm located in Busan, which is Korea's second largest city, and as with most apartments in Korea, the first thing you'll see is the entrance area where you take off your shoes. In my entrance is a closet for coats, shoes, and extra storage. My place, like most, is a one-room studio with a bathroom and kitchenette. Most epic apartments will come equipped with a bed, furniture, TV, cooking appliances, the whole nine. This is my work area where I spend most of my time vlogging, blogging, and studying. These are my goods as I prepare for my Florida teacher certification exams just around the corner. Each apartment will have different things that your school provided or was left behind by a previous teacher. This clothing rack comes in handy for my extra suitcase and it gives my TV a home to free up some floor space. This is the control for the ondol, which is used for heating the floors and your water. If you forget to turn off the ondol, not only will you bake, but uh, your electric bill will definitely bring you to tears. And of course the AC unit for the stifling summer heat. The kitchenette, it's fully equipped with burners, dishes, appliances. This faux cow pull-out counter thing. Oven slash microwave and a fridge. There's my magic bullet blender. My bathroom has a shower head connected to the sink faucet. Most apartments are like this unless you're lucky. Here's the medicine cabinet. It's a very flowery bathroom. One thing I was concerned about moving into this new unit was if I'd have sufficient Hello Kitty decorations. Good thing a college girl lived here before me and left a stuffed doll and wallpaper. My apartment feels complete now. You get a dresser for your clothes. I don't have a whole lot of stuff, so I use the space for my extra suitcases. These blackout curtains are great for making the apartment dark at night and in the mornings. And it also makes the kitchenette feel like a separate room. So that's it, my apartment. Thanks for stopping by.